I'll be showing you step-by-step step how you can create a customizable buy button to send customers directly to the checkout. So you can then embed this button on your different Shopify pages or even a different website. This is gonna send customers to the checkout directly making it easy for them to purchase your product. So let's dive right into it here. So if you don't have the Shopify buy button already installed, what you wanna do is go to the Shopify app store and search for buy button. It should be in the top left here. This will be Shopify's very own app and it is gonna be completely free. So once you have it installed, back to your Shopify dashboard and then go to apps here on the left-hand side. You can then search for buy button and it should show up as an installed app here listed as a channel. From here, we can then go and create our buy button. So I'll hit create buy button in the center of the screen. You get an option to do a product buy button or a collection buy button. To send a customer directly to the checkout, we're gonna use the product buy button here. So I'll click product buy button. I know I've said that a lot, but then let's go and select a product. This video, I'll just select this product, the outdoor camping bag, and then you'll now get into the customization process. So the way you get this to go directly to the checkout, you wanna set the action when people click. There's add product to cart, direct to checkout and product details, but we're looking for direct to checkout. So that's the one we'll leave it as. You're also gonna get some styling on the layout style. So you can do basic. So it's just gonna be a button. Classic will show an image, the title, the price, and the buy button. And full view will also show a description of the product as well as the other product images. I'll leave this as just the basic buy button here for this video. So let's move on to the next set of customization. And this is gonna be the button style in terms of if you wanna round the corners or change the width of the button. You also get customization on the colors and the font style and size as well. I'll decrease that font size so it fits in there. In terms of the layout, you can set the text as well as how to align it. And if you wanna show the quantity field. Let's go back to direct to checkout and this will remove the options for shopping cart and whether to set it as a detailed pop-up. Under advanced settings, you can set this to either open up in a pop-up window or to redirect in the same tab. I'll leave this as redirect in the same tab, hit back here, and that's my overall settings completed. Now, let's go through an example of how we can add this to a product page. So I'll hit next here, and this will give you the code to copy. As we can see, it's quite a bit of JavaScript here, as well as the div. So this is gonna be the HTML element that it's gonna be hooked up to. If you just separate this into two things, this would be the element you add to the HTML, and this would be the JavaScript probably below there, depending on how much availability or customization you have for the page. But for this example, we're just gonna be copying and pasting it into a Shopify page. So let's copy the whole thing here. So I've just clicked copy code. Now let's go to one of our Shopify pages. So from the Shopify dashboard, let's go to the left-hand side again and go to online store. From there, we'll go down to pages. This will show us our Shopify pages. I'll just go to this test page here as this will show the example that we're looking for. Now from the Shopify page, what you wanna access is the HTML. You don't want the plain text editor here. The way you access the HTML is if we go to these two triangle brackets, it's gonna say show HTML if we hover over it. So I'll click onto that here. This will show the HTML editor. And I'll just press Control-V or Command-V, depending if you're on a Mac or Windows, just to copy and paste it onto our web page. I'll hit the Show Editor button again to go back to the regular editor. And you actually won't see any text here, but the Buy button will be embedded. Go to the top right and hit Save. And now I'll click on View Page to free view our Buy button. And just like that, we can see our Direct to Checkout Buy button is now loading on this Shopify page. If we hit Buy Now, this should redirect us directly to the checkout and it does there with our outdoor camping bag. That's how you add a direct to checkout buy button to any web page by creating a buy button for your Shopify store using their very own app and sales channel. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below as it really helps the channel out. I wanna mention Profit Calc, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Get real-time calculations for any date range in just one click so you can discover how profitable your store truly is. It's gonna make it much easier to make smarter business decisions by understanding all your detailed metrics. It's also gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts and with plenty of cost of goods sold and transaction fee -making options. There's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing. You can also find it by searching Profit Calc in the Shopify app store, both of which will get you access to the 15 day free trial. You can test drive everything for yourself.